Take a look at another functional equation. This problem is chosen from the Belkin Mathematical Olympiad 2003. So I think it is fairly simple because uh, you probably will uh, guess the solution easily. Uh, and it says find all functions f from a rational number to real number that satisfy three conditions. The first one is f of x plus y minus y times f of x minus x times f of y equals f of x times f of y minus x minus y plus xy for every uh, rational numbers x and y. And the second condition is f of x equals 2 times f of x plus 1 uh, plus 2 plus x for every uh, rational number x. And the third condition is f of 1 plus 1 is larger than 0. So the third condition will uh, simply inspire us to define uh, f of x plus x to be another function. Let's call it uh, g of x. Then we can just uh, substitute this definition into the condition 1 or you can simply uh, factorizing uh, condition 1 directly to uh, really simplify the, the, the functional equation. So let's say um, let us uh, substitute f of x equals g of x minus x into the first condition will become uh, uh, g of x plus y minus x minus y. So this is f of x plus y minus y times g of x minus x and then minus x times uh, g of y minus y um, equals uh, g of x minus x times g of y minus y minus x minus y plus x y. So we can just uh, distribute all the things into the bracket distribute, distribute, and then we can just simply expand this term so that we'll get uh, the first term is g of x plus y minus x minus y minus y times g of x mm. y times g of x and then plus xy and then minus x times g of y uh, plus xy and then we have on the right hand side we have uh, g of x times g of y uh, minus x g of y minus y g of x plus xy minus x minus y plus xy so now we can see that many of the terms can be cancelled let's see uh, we have minus x minus y minus x minus y they can be cancelled and then y times g of x and y times g of x can be cancelled and then we have xy xy on the left side and then we have xy xy on the right side also we can cancel out x times g of y x times g of y okay so most of the thing can be uh, cancel so the remaining terms are only g of x plus y equals g of x times g of y so it is actually a variation of the Cauchy equation so let's say if you don't forget the solution to this uh, variation let's just take lateral law on both sides so we have a g of x plus y equals lateral law of uh, g of x plus lateral law of uh, g of y from the uh, uh, product of the logarithm rule so we can just uh, uh, separate into two terms and add them together okay so now we can just um, define h of x to be lateral law of uh, g of x 
so that this equation will become uh, uh, h of x plus y equals h of x plus h of y then we can clearly see that x of x is actually the solution to the uh, Cauchy equation and actually the the uh, domain of this function is actually a rational number so that we don't need to have the condition of a continuity monotonicity something like that so we can quickly see that h of x should be c times x where c is a constant which is a h of 1 okay so next uh, suppose we have this x of x then we can get uh, c times x equals lateral log of uh, g of x plugging in to uh, plugging in x of x to here okay so let us take uh, exponential function on both sides so we have exponential to z of x equals exponential to lateral log of uh, g of x like this so on the right side we simply have a g of x and actually uh, exponential to c of uh, c, c x we can actually uh, change the base of this exponent uh, which is like a to the x power something like that which means g of x is an uh, a power is a power function it's a power function okay so um so considering uh we have assumed g of x to be f of x plus x so from condition three which means g of one equals f of 1 plus 1 is larger than 0 which means g of 1 is actually uh, a to the first power which is a so a is larger than 0 larger than 0 okay so now we can also make use of the second condition so that um, we can actually find what should be the um, value of a rather than arbitrary constant so let's see we have uh, from condition 2 we have f of x equals 2 times f of x plus 1 plus uh, 2 plus x okay and also g of x is a to the x power which means uh, f of x should be uh, g of x minus x according to our uh, definition which means it is a to the x power minus x so let us substitute this one into condition 2 we will get a to the x power minus x equals 2 times uh, a to the x plus 1 power and then minus x minus 1 and then plus 2 plus x so we can just uh, distribute distribute the 2 inside the bracket so we can have uh, 2 times uh, a to the x plus 1 power minus 2x minus 2 plus 2 plus x so we can cancel out minus 2 and plus 2 and then we can also cancel one of the x like this so on the right side we have 2 times a to the x plus 1 power minus x and then also we can cancel out this uh, minus x minus x so the remaining stuff is nothing but a to the x power equals 2 times uh, a to the x plus 1 power 
and actually a is larger than zero which means it is not equal to zero so that we can divide a to the x on both sides so the left side and also we can divide two on both sides so finally the left side and then actually we can just swap the left and right so the right side will becomes a nothing but a we can just uh, cancel two two and then a to the x and a to the x so we only have a on the right side and then on the left side we have one half okay so finally we get f of x equals one half to the x power minus x is our solution actually we can just simply check it by substituting it into the original function equation so the original function equation is nothing but uh let's see first condition is f of x plus y minus uh, y times f of x minus x times f of y uh, okay this is the left side so it is um, let's see one half to the x plus y power minus x minus y minus y times uh, one half to the x power minus x and then uh, minus x times one half to the y power minus y and then uh, uh, that's it and actually we have um, one half x plus y and then we have this term to be minus y one half uh, one half to the x power minus x times one half to the y power and then we still have uh, this one this one is this one is plus xy plus xy and then we still have uh, minus x minus y plus xy like this so we pretty much have uh, these three terms and then here we will have uh, one half to the x power and then times one half to the y power minus y and then uh, minus uh, x times one half to the y power minus y and then minus x minus y plus xy so and then we can have this common factor so it becomes uh, one half to the x power minus x times one half to the y power minus y minus x minus y plus xy which is f of x times f of y minus x minus y plus xy which is the right hand side and then for the second condition um, f of x f of x is nothing but one half to the x power minus x and then we can uh, we can just uh, yeah we can just multiply it by 2 and then divide it by 2 so it becomes 1 half to the x plus 1 power and then we can also have minus 2x plus x like this mm, and also we still uh, we still need uh, we still need uh minus two here uh plus two minus two minus two plus two am i correct yeah 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 so actually we can just uh factor it out two here uh times one half to the x plus one power minus uh x plus one 
and then we have a plus 2 plus x so this is actually uh, f of uh, 2 times f of x plus 1 plus 2 plus x so the second condition is satisfied and the final one is of course f of x plus oh, sorry f of 1 f of 1 plus 1 equals equals uh, 1 half to the first power minus 1 mm, plus 1 so this is f of 1 so it becomes 1 half which is larger than 0 so f of x equals 1 half to the x power minus x is the solution to this functional equation and this is the end of this video